Hey everyone, this video is a direct continuation on my video for drawing for concept art uh, and also a little bit to the one I did in composition and it goes deeper and gives a list of some of my favorite tutorials on 3D environment concept art as well as some basic principles of design all the way to very complex world building. So the idea here is to really break down, starting from the design and using some of the tools so that we can use all the skills we acquired in the Drawing for Concept Art series and really put that to good use. So up here on the top left side, mostly tutorials and books on design and design theory. Uh, it goes into more of the 3D basis going deeper into a little more of tools such as shape language, also known as form language sometimes, some more in-depth tutorials on environment design, and then getting all the way to architecture, some processes, and finally going into the use of 3D for world building aspects. Before we jump right in, uh, here are the numbers so you can refer to the description below and really find the ones that you want to dive deeper. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So here you can see uh, two interesting books, Mechanica by Doug Chang. Doug Chang nowadays is one of the head people in the Star Wars franchise, the creative director, production designer. He has a lot of roles overseeing different projects and different platforms. Uh, and also Skillful Huntsman, it's a very well-known book. I've talked about this uh, other times here on the channel, but it goes in depth into the process of creating a, a world through uh, a story, the use of a, one story and really building on top of that. This was a discipline in the Art Center College of Design and it's really well documented in this book here. There is also another book, I'll put it as an extra, because it's really hard to find and it's the book on the art of the first Star Wars prequel, uh, Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Uh, and I've heard a lot of great things about it as almost a step by step on how to build an, a big world with multiple planets, multiple cultures, multiple species. But as I haven't seen it myself, I'll add that later on in the description. Uh, also, H-Point is one of the books that taught me the most about the process of design for a real world. So thinking of ergonomics, processes, and fabrication, and, and all of that, it really creates uh, a very in-depth understanding of what goes into making a car or making transportation and, and so on. Uh, other interesting tutorials here uh, for you to take a look, mostly on design and starting to use a little bit of 3D. So it starts getting more complex uh, using Blender in this tutorial from Schoolism, as well as a lot of foundation stuff, getting more of the iconic shapes in the design. Uh, so it's a little bit of functionality and a little bit of shape language as well. Starts getting deeper and deeper, using more 3D, both on vehicles as well as architecture. All the way, as I said before, to form language, getting more and more into the functionality as well as visual impact from what you're trying to convey. Uh, also, Nathan Fox has great courses on schoolism, on environment design, taking from this standpoint, not as much as a constructive architectural, go into creating our own process for this. So some other tutorials here, you can take a look uh, at your own pace later on. So on this side, it's starting, it starts getting more and more complex into building of architecture. It's super hard to find really quality material. So I added here this course by Alex Rees, as well as Tyler Edling. Tyler Edling is currently teaching at CAGMA as well. And I took recently the course from Gabriel Yaganian. So you can see some of his work in here. 
Uh, it was really awesome. It's a little more expensive than tutorials out there, but definitely really worth your time and investment. This is a piece that he created for the Star Wars series. So it's really interesting to understand. And I, I did a video on this. The thought that goes behind in a plan view to really understand how people or players are gonna walk around in this area and how that translates to the visual impact that it will have and the functionality, the history behind, the materials they had. A lot of this goes into great thought out this architecture design. And we start using a lot of that knowledge with tools such as 3D, uh, kit bashing, and really start building up our visual library as well as our resources to build worlds. Uh, here, one very interesting tutorial by Trent Kanyuga. Uh, interesting use of 3D underlay and drawing on top of that. This is a process that will help also teach you a lot of perspective as a lot of stuff will be there, but you will also need to build on top of that using all your knowledge and all your visual perception on what looks good in perspective and vanishing points and converging to the same vanishing point and so on. Um, it gets more complicated more tools using images, using photo bashing, and going to more realistic 3D. Uh, here, tutorial by Jama, Florent Lee Brun, uh, a lot of foundation stuff as well from Noriel Slin. Eitan Zana has this interesting course. I haven't gone through it, but I heard awesome things uh, about it. More foundation going all the way to visual development and world building. Some tutorials here uh, by Nick Jindro, as well as Jan Urscho, going into courses from Learn Squared, Environment Design, World Building, and this tutorial by Pablo Dominguez to uh, close it all. So yeah, this is pretty much it, a faster video, so you can use everything that we discussed before and all the knowledge that you're gaining and apply that to world building, to architecture design, to environment design, using a lot of different tools, both from design concepts to 3D process, photo bashing, and so on. Once again, here are the numbers. So you can refer to the description below and find the ones that you wanna learn more about or potentially use in your learning journey. So yeah, that's it for me. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed and you have a great time really going deeper, sharing the comments, something that you learned so that others can really enjoy some other tutorials you might think will also be really helpful. There are others coming out every day on this topic. So it would be great if you could help keep this list updated. Hope you have a great day and we'll definitely catch up in another video. Bye.